Hello, my name is Greg McKay. I'm the chair of the Australian SIV Association. This recording is of a presentation at the Australian SIV Gathering held online 22nd of July 2022. The event was hosted by ASRVA, which is the SRV Safeguarding Group in Australia. We held the gathering for several reasons. To help strengthen the Australian SRV community, to further foster a community of practice identity, to strengthen collegial relationships among and between members of the community, and to focus on SRV in action, its everyday use. We hope you find these presentations helpful, and we again thank presenters. Hello everyone. I'm delighted to introduce to you Megan Fairbrother and Logan Kennedy. By way of introduction, can I share with you that in the past, Megan has been a university lecturer in courses related to inclusive education and is currently a behavioural support practitioner, is a mother, a wife, a daughter and a soccer player. And Logan, I'm delighted to share with you all that Logan is a son, a brother, a school student and is described as charismatic and inquisitive and has a strong love of cars and building things. Thank you so much, Megan and Logan, and over to you now. Um, thank you, everybody, for this amazing opportunity to share our little story. Um, firstly, I just quickly want to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land that we're on, past, present and future. But in the land that I've been experiencing this gives me a great and deep appreciation of it. And I'm very, very grateful and thankful. OK, so just ponder this thought for a minute. We'll get to the, the punchline later. Um, but the confusion on her face meant that we had succeeded at breaking through the person, um, the perceived social roles we were given. So uh, resourcing in our influence communities website has this as their quote on their website and it helps what, around what LCFE helps us to understand around human relationships and the life experiences of marginalised groups um, and why people with disabilities are devalued. I found in my life that SRV offers me a beautiful framework to run my thoughts and feelings through to gauge what is happening in front of me and in my mind, which has given the SRV concepts um, and the technology or well, the technical versions of that gives me a confidence um, and the language to articulate these thoughts and feelings. Otherwise, I feel like I would be left with them just floating around, having no basis um, and nowhere for them to land um, and, and help me know what action I should move on, um, that type of thing. I, I've been listening to lots of web, webinars recently and while the information is really, really powerful, I feel like it just sort of floats around and there's just where, and, and you can tell the webinars that have had, the people have had experience with SRV, like they really have a, a grounding of why they're thinking what they're thinking. For those people who may not have had this level of experience or understanding of SRV, it's, it's all great, but there's just not that anchor for it, which is what I have really, really appreciated from my understanding. We're going to be looking a little bit at uh, interpersonal identification and freely, freely given relationships. And for this theme to have its strongest impact, it really relies on someone, um, and in our case, uh, Logan, to have valued social roles, opportunities to develop lagging skills. So the this is a new concept that I've come across. It may not be, maybe a little old, but the lagging skills is around all of those four different things. But I think some of the people that I've been working with um, tend to have missed out on some skills um, in the developing. And that is a huge, like lots of different reasons for that. Um, that could be low expectation on them and what we should be expecting someone to learn in those natural um, development stages. 
that some people may have difficulty with um, moving along through those difficult stages and so sorry developmental stages um, which then means that they're lagging in some skills so some of these things um, would be interesting to look at for people that we we're working with in terms of making supporting them in developing them um, Obviously, the, the rhythm of life, um, making sure that people are moving in the same group as other people, being able to link to commonalities with others, and being able to let others know that they're important is um, another skill that is relying on here. So, um, Megan and Logan's story. So, we both have a, lot, a mutual love of board games, and this is, this is us here. <laughs> Oh, why is it not progressing? Oh, there we go. So Logan, this is your section. Pardon? Oh, this is your bit. What is it? About you. Yeah. Mark. Oh, you can just read oh. this one. I am 12. What? You have 13 in September. Oh, I'm 13 in September. I am a son. Son, brother, uh, games, games, four drives, loves cars in general. I am hmm? autistic, a Build a long friend, cat owner, a year seven student. I have ADHD. Skateboard riding is great for me. I have experience lots of trauma, trauma in my life. I don't love pretty, pretty much all food and I play basketball. Beautiful. Small, some people say uh, I'm with a family funny. I do like the freedom of having a phone. I enjoy playing card games and board games. I, I really like finishing fishing science iron man chatting without with other beings being able to make my own choices and decisions I would like to go London one day. When I get un older, I would like to be a mechanic and drive a blue Toyota Land Cruiser to my to and from work. Well done. Awesome. Well done. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit about you. There's lots more, but um, we'll, yeah, that was awesome. Thank you. The thing that I love the most about you, Logan, is your inquisitive mind, um, your um, interest in learning new things. Thank you. So who am I? Um, I'm 
uh, a mum of three kids who are similar ages to Logan. I love family fun days um, where we play board games and cards. Um, and I love the feeling of connecting with others through experiences and common interests. The connecting with people came easy for me. My mum was a social networker from way back. Uh, she started the first mother's group in Ride back in the 70s um, and through many other opportunities, um, she uh, developed connections. It was like she was always on the lookout for how she would connect others with others. You could almost see her actively running through her list of contacts in her mind while listening to the stories of others, either to jump on an opportunity to connect someone or to store their information for later potential connections. She would pick out common interests and effortlessly bring people together once she had facilitated the connections. Um, but what I loved about her the most, she also had this amazing ability to know when it was time to leave them to it, um, for them to continue to build their own solid connections. Um, she really loved that feeling um, that she got when she was um, connecting people on common interests, really resonated with her. She didn't understand SRV, but this theme was her all over. Um, and it was about being a facilitator of friendships. Um, so I took what was modeled to me for um, all throughout my life. And then with the newfound SIV understanding, I developed a very serious commitment to recognize the voice of a person and their family. Which is, which is all fine, but as with many things, we can't rely on the goodwill or the sole commitment of one person. We need to make it concrete in more, uh, make it more concrete and make it policy or mandated. So the little world that I'm living in currently um, is where I'm trying to make a difference um, for the people that I'm serving. So I have been awarded the most amazing privilege to be able to create a business where I'm trying to apply SRV at every level of it. Um, and a core value that I've uh, that we work for towards um, and ha therefore, based on the goodwill and the commitment, um, trying to make it more policy and mandated is that it's in our job description that it really clearly states that the role of the team members that I work with um, is around facilitation. And, and then to get out of there, um, once, and it's almost like that concept of do yourself out of a job. So what we aim to do is to try and um, train and support and develop the person, their families and other informal supports um, until they have the skills to maintain the relationship themselves. So our connection, Logan's and mine. So Logan has taught me just as much as I think I've taught, taught him. Um, and we don't always get it right. We have still have some tricky moments. But um, the plan was for Logan and I to build rapport, which was around mutual respect and trust. And for me to understand his um, him through his interests and likes. We had a little bit of skill development around manners and taking turns and understanding winning and losing, um, responding to the social clues that we're, we were being faced with, being able to in um, to be into uh, being able to be interested in each other, um, having confidence in making decisions and choices, um, and appreciating appreciating the natural responses from our actions. What we were feeling we needed to do though was to explore this deeper and um, practice these in a safe place. Um, so we, so finally getting to the story of the theme and the action, um, SRV in action. 
goes like this. So Logan and I had established all the skills. We tick, tick, ticked all of those things um, and Megan winning. <laughs> and um, we, as I said, wanted to explore some new places to keep practicing our skills um, that we had learnt. Plus um, the temptation of the distraction at gaming at home was getting in the way. So we ventured out and we had our skills in hand playing Uno um, in the back of the corner of the local library to satisfy both our auditory processing um, distractions being in the back corner. I was winning when a librarian joined us. He says, you guys look like you're having fun. And we're like, mm, nice little one liner. We both simultaneously responded with a yep and kept playing. Um, with my competitive nature remaining solid um, and as a teachable moment about Logan can't always win, <laughs> almost made me miss the moment. <laughs> But this guy could see our passion and genuine interest and appeared to want in on it. So he kept talking. He continues by saying, it would be really great if we could begin a games afternoon at the library. Would you two be interested in helping us coordinate this? So Logan's sure by looking up and smiling, skills we'd been working on and and I'm suddenly ripped out of the the need for my, for my own need to win and uh, bring my attention and remember Wolf's SRV's themes along with the potential opportunities so now I'm buzzing inside and this is what we've been working towards and Logan do you want to share what's happening Michael library games afternoon Come join us, but only if you love card and board games. So it's a genuine inv invitation for any of you Sydneyites to come and join us and the dates and times are there starting next week. So just another example from what we experienced in this um, encounter was Weeks later, Logan and I were chatting as we were walking into the library for one of our sessions. Um, we were trying to smuggle in some Snickers bars to fill our tummies before we were playing. Anyway, chatting with one of the librarians who may have seen our poor attempts of hiding the family pack of bars. When Logs mentions in a conversation something about his mum cooking yummy Snickers and Milo bars, she looked she kind of looked at me and then back at him. The confusion on her face told me that um, she thought I was his mum. I was happy to leave her with this in this confused state. I was never trying to be his mum nor him my son. What I was trying to do was not to be identified as his carer or support worker or behaviour practitioner. Um, she then went on to chat more about cooking, Snickers bars and Milo bars. I got a sense from her that the weird scenario really didn't matter anyway, um, it didn't matter anyway, and that she was just enjoying us chatting. So I guess we're, oh, um, I guess what we were trying to demonstrate in this is that we had succeeded at breaking through where we had perceived roles but they didn't matter um, we were just all friends talking about common interests Logan was Logan Megan meet Megan and in my facilitator role as a friend but Janice the librarian was Janice and so Logan thank you for listening to our story are, are there any questions Thank you, Logan, and thank you, Megan. And um, and Logan, I'm hoping that you've had a, half an eye on chat because there's some um, congratulations earlier on in the chat uh, for you. Megan, um, is there anything else that you would like to reflect on in terms of holding that tension between a worker? So if we take it out of your situation, but um, that tension between a worker who looks like a friend uh, and a worker who really needs to have a different orientation in terms of the intent of why they're in that person's life. It's really tricky. Um, and yeah, it, it's, um, I think it's well planned before. Um, and 
when we're working with people and when you are interested in finding out people's interests and likes and passions, um, you can't help but connect on that level but it is very important that we still in that role be very mindful of um, that we're actually and I really like the linking term of facilitator um, mm -hmm. in terms of that that is the, ten the tension is there um, and it's really <laughs> really important to be truthful to that um, and maintain that that's the objective. Great thank you. Um, uh, there was another question. Uh, hi, Megan. How do you facilitate the maintenance of relationships once you have left them to it? In inverted commas, that in your room. Yeah. Um, well, I still, I mean, in, at the moment, the people like, so I'm still very heavily involved with Logan um, and checking in. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, checking in with him um, around how things are going and what's going on. Um, I think you're never really, well, it depends on how well that connection has happened, um, the other person and, and how well we can maintain um, for this in example, Logan's um, ability to be able to con connect and stay connected. And that if that link has been really solidly formed, then I, yeah, I feel like that is it does it it's but yeah it's doing it by itself almost mm -hmm. okay okay thank <laughs> it's, you it's in the planning and it's in the, the consciousness yeah, bringing you. all of that stuff to the consciousness okay and then uh what might be possibly the last oh uh what what are the ages what are the ages mixed so who comes to the who who is likely to come to the board games um what age group is it for yeah, we're promoting it at the primary schools and the high schools. We're going to just um, see what happens. Unfortunately, the librarians aren't that um, confident that it's going to happen, but we're going to really try and make it happen. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's up on their website um, to promote it. So we'll just see. I, I don't know that we're going to put any restrictions on it. Mm -hmm. um, it's certainly not a disability focused group. It's just a bunch of people who love playing board mm -hmm. games and cards. Lovely. Um, Logan, I, I suspect we're all um, cheering you on in terms of uh, hoping that a group comes together so that you can um, do your thing. Uh, speaking of doing your thing, uh, there's a question. Have you been able to bring card games and your love of gaming together? Logan. Uh, like my gaming and then... Your card games. Do you do anything that brings is both? Yeah, I have... I like I now I'm getting into like playing card games on my Xbox and on my phone and my laptop. Ah, right. Okay. And Thanks. through yeah. co through COVID, we oh sorry, you keep going, Lokes. Is this Uno game? I I got go on my phone. Is is a Uno game, and you get to play with random people. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. Thank you. And Megan, did you want to add? I was just quickly it? through COVID. We often use house parties and did games on that um, mm -hmm. forum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, okay. Well, we better bring the question time to a close. Um, Megan and Logan, thank you so much. Um, how was it for you, Logan? Good. Yeah, it was all right. What about for you, Megan? Yeah, good. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. We've we really, um, Logan, we we really appreciate that you let your story be talked about. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Thanks for that. And Megan, thanks for all your preparation and thought as well. 